Hey what's up guys BG here back with another quick video and in this video we'll be checking out if this launcher the EV launcher will be able to replace your Nova launcher you already have and the community already loves Before we jump into the video I must mention that the EV launcher is completely free while I'm comparing it with the Nova launcher which runs for around 2 dollars on the Play Store the best feature of EV Launcher is undoubtedly the search button they have. Now using this search button, you can search for apps in your phone, your contacts and pretty much anything. This can even give you search results from Google. The app doesn't have an app drawer. You'll have to swipe across to access the list of apps just like in Android Now Get. If you jump into the settings, you'll find a lot of options like the ability to change your icon pack adjust the number of rows and columns, hide apps, add an red badge to your icons and a lot more. Most of the features you find on the Nova launcher is pretty much already there on EV launcher. But to answer the question of the title of this video, can the EV launcher replace the Nova launcher you already have on your phone? The simple answer is not yet. Now I stressed on the word yet because the app does have a lot of features but it is not fully packed like the Nova launcher. They have to improve in some of the areas like the customization of folders, the ability to change the gestures and it would be awesome to see them add new stuff like the night mode on Nova Launcher and a few others. I'd also love them to add an option to control your animations just like Nova does. Now this was actually one of the biggest selling points for Nova when they started out and seeing EV Launcher not having this is kind of a disappointment. Now don't get me wrong, this is fine or just perfect for normal users which constitute to about 70% of the Android users out there. But for the remaining of us, we would love to change the little things and customize the little things of Android just like adding the transitions between apps, the changing the animations and whatnot. But we would like to end this video on a positive note saying that you are getting an awesome launcher which has a great search bar and the ability to hide apps without paying anything. So that's awesome and it is definitely worth checking out. Make sure you check this app out and let us know what you think in the comment section down below. This is B signing off and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.